I'm Kathleen McGrath and in this presentation you're going to learn how to create a WPF application using Visual Basic Express. WPF stands for Windows Presentation Foundation and it's a new technology for creating rich graphical applications. Like Windows Forms applications, WPF applications can be designed by dragging controls from the toolbox to a design surface. In addition to having a designer, properties window, and toolbox, the IDE in WPF has a window that contains XAML. XAML is an acronym for Extensible Application Markup Language, which is used to create a user interface. In this demonstration, you will learn how to create a drawing application using WPF and Visual Basic. I'll create a new WPF application by clicking File, New Project, and then selecting WPF Application. I'll call this InkPad and click OK. The WPF window you see in Designer View is a visual representation of the window that will open when your application is started. In Designer View, you can drag various controls from the toolbox onto the design surface. I'm going to change the size of the WPF window by using the Properties window. If you do not see the Properties window, on the View menu, click Properties. This window lists the properties of the currently selected WPF window or control, and it's here that you can change the existing values. First, I'll select the WPF window, then I'll change the size by setting the Height property to 550 and the Width property to 370 in the Properties window. And then I'll change the title to Ink Pad. Notice that the title changes in the title bar. Next, I'll change the background property of the WPF window by clicking the drop down control and selecting a color. The WPF window changes color. Now I'll add some controls to the form from the toolbox. If the toolbox is invisible, you can open it by clicking the View menu and then clicking Toolbox. I want to add an Ink Canvas control, but I don't see it on the toolbox. To add it, I'll right-click the toolbox and then click Choose Items. In the WPF Components tab of the dialog box, I'll scroll down to Ink Canvas and select it. Then I'll click OK to add the Ink Canvas control to the toolbox. Now I'll drag the Ink Canvas control from the toolbox to the WPF window and I'll set the following properties for the Ink Canvas control in the Properties window. For Width, I'll set Auto. Height should also be Auto. Horizontal Alignment should be Stretch. Vertical Alignment should also be Stretch. And then for the Margins, I'll set them to 9, 9, 9, and 68. Now if you take a look at the XAML window, you will see that these changes appear. You can also make these changes directly in the XAML markup. So next, I'll change the background color of the Ink Canvas control to yellow by adding the following attribute and value. Background equals light yellow. Next, I'll drag two buttons from the toolbox to the bottom of the WPF window. Now I'll select button 1 and make some changes in the XAML markup. The text that appears on the button is located between the opening button tag and the closing tag. I'll move my cursor between these two tags and then type the word clear. Now I'll select button 2 and change the text to close. Now I'll double click clear to create the event handler and I'll add code that clears the drawing. me.inkcanvas1.strokes.clear I'll right click and then click Designer to change back to Design View. And then I'll double click the Close button to create the event handler. Next, I'll add code that closes the application. me.close I'll press F5 to run the project and when the application opens, I'll draw a picture in the Ink Canvas control. If I make a mistake, I can click Clear to start over. Then I'll click Close to close the application. 
You can get more information about developing Visual Basic applications in the Visual Basic Guided Tour. You can find other resources such as technical articles and videos at the Beginner Developer Learning Center.